So if you, like me, use Excel all the time and work with dates, you might need once in a while to figure out what, uh, how many days you have in a specific month based on a date. Like here, I have uh, a bunch of dates, and depending on the month, I have a calculation here that shows me the number of days in that specific month. Notice 28 and 29 for Februarys of different years. So how do we achieve that? I'll show you in just a second. So here we have a bunch of dates, a column of dates. I'm going to change the format, control shift hashtag, so that you can see what month it is. And we would like to calculate well, how many days we have in that particular month based on the date. So uh, you may or may not know about the EO month function, which is a great function that will return the end of a month. So EO month function based on the date. Now EO month function, if you look at the function arguments, it also requires an additional um, argument months. And uh, if you put zero there, then it will give you uh, the end of the month based on that specific date, for that specific date, for the month of that specific date. Now, of course, you can put something like one here and you'll get the end of the month of the next month, uh, two, and so on. So here I'm going to use zero. So what that will do, that will give a bunch of uh, Dates also, each date is the last day of that particular month based on the dates that I have in column A. And now all we need to do is uh, wrap uh, the day function around this calculation. So if I do a type day here and surround it like this calculation, end of month goes inside as an argument of the day uh, function. What you do, you get the day. Of course, since this is a date calculation, the date formatting is applied, and uh, I'm going to apply the general format, Control Shift tilde key, and now I got the uh, number of days in each of those months based on the date of the month. And notice, just like before, I have 28 and 30. Uh, let's see, 28 here, February 23 and so on. So we get the precise number of dates, because the number of dates is basically the, the same number as the day of the last day of the month. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this little video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!